Okay, we are here at the house on Sophia Terrace. I'm going to walk to the end of the driveway. One of the things I want you to note is that the picture online makes it look as if it's a much bigger front area, but it's more than sufficient. So you have a one car garage or golf cart garage there. And then your two car garage here. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna walk inside. Okay. So the front door is behind me and I'm gonna work my way to the right and then to the left. So you walk right into what's more like a formal living room and the pool area. It's a really pretty line of sight. To the right is the office. You can see they had some really nice built-ins here. Tall ceilings, at least 12, maybe 14 feet in the centers of the coffered area. The walls are textured. Um, uh, I don't remember. The it's a pl special plaster. The way the plaster is put on and rounded corners, as you can see. Here we have a cabana bath that leads to the pool. The floors look like either travertine or they're tile made to look like travertine. Now we're walking into the master area. So straight ahead is a primary bathroom and to my left is a primary bedroom. So we're gonna first go into the bedroom. It's huge, beautiful, amazing tall ceilings. The wood floors are beautiful. And then of course you have the French doors out to the pool, but we'll visit that afterwards. And then we're gonna come back here. If I turn to the right, it leads me out. You can see there's double doors to close off the primary wing. And then to the left is the bathroom. So we have one closet here. And then another closet here. So his and her side, George, you might have to use a different closet if Karen has a ton of clothes. And then of course the bathroom. Dual vanities a soaker tub. And then I'm gonna come back over here and you have the water closet. You have a linen closet. And I am assuming that this right here is the entrance to the one car garage. So let's leave this side of the house. Very bright.
And now we will continue. So here is your formal dining area. We'll continue through that area in a little bit. First, I wanna come here to the butler pantry. So you have refri beverage refrigerators, cabinets for storage, a wine refrigerator, and then we come straight ahead. This is really pretty, the banquette, into the family room. So for perspective purposes, through that door right there is where I went to the primary bedroom. And you can see the office and the formal living room. And now here is the kitchen area and family room. Stunning. So if I'm standing here at the kitchen sink, this is my view. And then we have one guest room here. Nice size, that's definitely a queen size bed. It's an ensuite. walk-in shower, which is great. Nice size closet. George, this might have to be your closet. <laughs> Solid doors also. The doors, just little things. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so we were over there at the dining room and this is the stairway to go upstairs, which we'll do in a minute. We have a coat closet and then you have another bedroom here, which is also a great size bedroom. With another great closet, also an ensuite. This one has a bathtub. Really pretty. And then we come down here. Ooh, look at that. That's your pantry and more storage. I call it a Harry Potter closet. Laundry room. And then the two car garage. That door goes to the outside. So they have a water softener. Okay, so let's go upstairs. Before we go upstairs, I just want to recap. So you have the master bedroom downstairs, two additional bedrooms downstairs that are both ensuite, as well as a dedicated office. This house reminds me so much of a Santa Barbara house. And then upstairs, you have a fourth bedroom.
linen closet. What I don't see upstairs is a clothing closet. Oh, right here. Oh my goodness. It's big. It's like the size of a New York City apartment. And then, oh, and that goes into just your, um, your, your utility room. Okay, let's go downstairs and look outside. So they currently have this door open to go to the outside. So we're gonna come out here so you can see there's French doors off of the family room, but the way they have their family room set up, you walk around, I don't know if you can see. I'll go back in there and show you. And there's still room for the, the dogs to play. That looks like it's a little marshy back there. It's to be expected. There is a dog, doggy door. And then you have your summer kitchen area. I like the way this um, island is situated. It makes it really usable. And it's nice because you can sit here even when it's raining and have some nice coverage. Let's just take one more look inside at the family room so you can see what I was talking about. So if we come over here, so you can see there is a walking path behind the sofa so you can access these doors. And again, that's one of the secondary bedrooms. The other secondary bedroom is on the other side of this wall. The third one is upstairs and then the master's downstairs. Your butler's pantry. And it seems, just wanna double check. There's no designated pantry in the kitchen, but there's the one around the corner that I pointed out to you. You could turn this coat closet instead into a pantry if you wanted to have it closer. But there's also in the butler's pantry, there's, well, they're using that for dishes, but you have lots of options, lots of cabinets. And here we are back at the front door.